Okay, welcome back. I've got uh, another video for you. Uh, something I've been looking forward to doing for quite some time. And today I'm going to be using this little beauty. It's a uh, Agfa Rondinax 35U, which is a daylight developing tank. So um, the notion being, of course, that you just don't have to mess around in a dark bag. You don't have to mess around in a dark room. You just get your 35mm spool. You pop it in here. You wind it onto the spool and then if all the chemicals go in you can do it in the wonder of daylight so um i'm going to crack on with this and um see see how we get on i've never used this before so you're going to see if it works or if it doesn't so i will either be absolutely crushed by the end because it didn't work or i'll be absolutely overjoyed this december 2017 christmas is upon us it could be the best Christmas present I've ever bought myself. So uh, let's get on with it, let's have a look. The first thing I've got to do is, if I just move this over here, uh, you'll notice as well that the film leader is out of the spool a little bit. Now, one of the things that you must remember when you're gonna use a tank like this is you're gonna need that bit. So when you're winding your film back onto your camera, do it slowly so you can hear or feel when the film leaves the, the, uh, the camera spool. Um, so you don't wind it all the way back in. If you wind it all the way back in, you can get a film leader retrieval tool and pull it out. But it's just, if you just remember when you're winding the film back onto the spool inside your camera, uh, just to not go all the way and just make sure you leave a little bit of that off. So first thing we're gonna do, it's a bit bendy this actually, but first thing we're gonna do is cut off the end like this, okay. And then, like you would do if you were developing. Anyway, we're just going to take the corners off because it'll just, just like that, it'll just help it uh, lead in to the spool. So now this is a, this is the bit I've never done before. So I think what we're going to do is I think we do this. And push that in there. And then you want to put this on the very middle of the film spool like that. And snap that down. Yep, that's a nice grip. And then we're just going to take up the slack like that. And then we're just going to ease that down. Just like that, just a little way, just so we started it, okay? Now, this is the bit where we're gonna put this lid back on, like this. Okay. That's it, light sealed. That shouldn't be, um, uh, this should keep the film dark now, okay? So now we're gonna, Wind the film, nice and gently, all the way onto the spool inside. And we're just gonna keep doing it, just like that, half a turn. Keep going, and eventually, when we get to the end, We should be able to put the film. Oh, that's getting tight now. There we go. I can't turn it anymore. So then round the back here, we go like that. And then we can see that the film is totally on that spool. It's been cut off the spool inside. That's it, we're ready to go and develop. So let's give it a go. Okay, so here we go, the exciting part. Film is loaded into the tank. I've got uh, chemicals here. We've got uh, thermometer. We're all at 20 degrees, which is absolutely spot on. And um, what we're gonna do now is we are going to get going. 
I'm using DDX, Ilford DDX developer, which I've uh, not used before. It's a, a ratio of one to four. The thing is with these development tanks, the, the, you only use 200 milliliters of fluid and the fluid only fills half the reel. So the agitation is by the constant turning and, and it's slightly different. You, you don't kind of let it stand because if you let it stand, only like half of the film is gonna be stood um, in the developer fluid. Um, and you don't know which half that's going to be so it's probably going to give you very uneven results or even ruin the development or the processing so uh, the key to this is you're just going to keep going it's a nine minute continuous turn so I'm not going to bore you with whole nine minutes but here we go so I've got fixer I've got developer and I've got stop and we're going to go for it now so as soon as I pour this developer in like this let it fill the tank. 200 milliliters. All right, it's in. I'm going to start my clock and then we're going to do half a turn, half a turn, half a turn, half a turn, and just keep going like this for a full nine minutes. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Pour out just do that. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to add the stop bath. So Add in the stop bath. In we go with the stop bath. Keep turning, continue. I'm just going to do that. Same thing. There we go. Keep turning. Get all of the fluid off. Okay, and then same with the fixer. This is a five minute. So we keep turning the film all of the time. Just like that, just so we're coating the film. All right. Right, we're about 20 seconds from the end. So, as soon as we get to the end, I'm going to take the lid off, do 10 washes just with water straight out the tap, and the final wash I'll put a little bit of wetting agent on, and then we shall see what we have. Okay, there we go. Okay, and now we can remove the lid because the fixing is done. And inside, you can see that is wound on. You can't really see if it's developed or not yet. So we can now take this out. This is the little film leader. We can get rid of that. And we can start with the wash. So I'm just gonna do 10 washes. Straight on the film, just like that, and I'll just rinse it through. And as you can see, inside the water doesn't fill the whole reel. It actually comes up to about here where my finger is. So now we are just fingers crossed that it worked. I could just put it under the tap and let the water run down on it, but I think I'd just rather do it like this. It's a bit more gentle, I think. So I'm just 
constantly washing the film. So it's getting quite a good wash actually because you're dragging the film through the water. So that's the first wash. It's just water. Let me get the second one in now. And we are done. So, the moment of truth. The moment of truth. Okay, so, I've got my little clip. I can see here, I think we should have what appears to be some pictures. If you can see that, hopefully you can. It looks like it's worked. You see, you can kind of just about see that we've got some pictures on here. Okay, there we go. 35mm HP5 Plus in an Agfa Rondinax 35U daylight developing tank. It's the first time I've ever used it. You saw it. For the very first time, I've developed my film before, I've processed film before, but I've never done it in that tank, I've never done it like that. And I tell you what, it is just so much more easy than actually messing around in a dark bag. If you've, if you've got a dark room, oh, that's fine. I think, I think actually if you've got a dark room, it's still going to be fumbling around in the dark. The beauty of that tank is, is that it just you know, it's you saw me do it. You just kind of do it all in the daylight. You don't have to worry about it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please like. Send me a comment. Ask me a question. Whatever you like. I'll, I'll be only too happy to help. Thank you.